Greetings. This is a quick demonstration of using remote desktop on multiple machines. Let's give it a shot. I've already logged in. I'm going to log in actually on the lab 18. Connect. And now I'm in lab 18. Put in my password. Click OK. And in a moment, I should have a clean installation. Okay, so there's, we go to, uh, let's, let's go ahead and install Firefox. I think it's already installed. Next, I accept, next, 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 installing Firefox. Give it a moment. Now I'm doing this on a remote machine. I'm actually on another device. Finish. And I'm actually on a remote computer. And what I want to do here in a moment is try to load another machine. Uh, I need to find paint.net Microsoft, which is a so Photoshop-like tool, paint.net, there it is, click, uh, download, I need the net framework 2.0, I know that, and I'm going to go to, actually let me go back, yeah, install that one on a different machine, or get it going on a different one, and I'll go ahead and download this at the same time, and at the top, uh, x86, that's the one I want. Click on it. I hope. There it is, download. Now, this is all, I've got all these things going on on different, on a, again, on a remote machine. Um, so, save to disk, .net FX. I hope that's the one. Okay. Oh, that was just too fast. Let's find. Thank you for the framework version. Redistributable package. What does that mean? Wow, that was fast. Properties. Wow. 22.4 megs. That was incredibly fast. Um, and let's see how my other install is doing. Let's get that going. Accept, install. Now let's find where my paint.net is. Download now. Okay. And click on that. Um, so that's installing. Setup is configuring. Now what I wanted to do is actually see if I get a couple of instances going at the same time. So let's go to the left here. I'm on a different machine. Now, let's see if I can pull up 17, 18. Let's go to 19 now. Connect. And while the other machine is installing, I should be able to go ahead and install another device or on another machine. Let's see how that works. So, again, I'm on a different, totally different machine right now. Let's go to internet, <clears throat> and oh, I've already got Firefox. Already got Firefox on this box. Let's go ahead and install that. All right. So while it's doing that, let's start D. Get to the window. Get to the uh, interface, and close this. I don't need this. Adobe Reader, why is that coming up? Don't want it. Click next, accept, next, next, next. And while that's doing it, thing, I go check out remote 18. Save to disk. Click OK. All downloads are finished. Click on that. Paint.net. Ooh, wait. Um, 
um, I'm going to cancel that paint.net when it starts up. Let's go back to eight, to machine 19. Launch. So what you can see is I'm trying to multitask as much as possible. And in that process, um, hopefully speed up the install on my various machines. Um, quick. Well, let's cancel that because I want... Yes, I'm sure I don't want to install because it's still installing the original. The install the components are still installing, so I can get multiple instances going at the same time. I just need to have. Let's see. Uh, I'm working on 18. 18 should be almost done. It's not. Let's go to 19. 19 is doing something. What is it doing? Always oh, K. Yes, and. Let's go ahead, Google dot AE dot EN, and that should bring up an English version. There it is. And let's go ahead and get paint dot net, Microsoft, Microsoft. Don't alert me, I don't care. Or I do, but not that much. Paint dot net, download and install that. Ooh, stop. Uh, hold down the control key, open up in a new tab. That'll get that started. And I'll go ahead and start this download here. So download now. And um, download x86. So the two applications are in the process of downloading. Save to disk, okay. That was fast. And what about this one? Still waiting. So while that one's still waiting, let's go check on number 18. Behind door number 18. Okay, successfully installed. Very good. Now I can go ahead and install the .NET or the paint.net. Quick. Yes. Next. I agree. Next. Next. Now again, this is all about using remote desktop and installing on remote machines. Um, because this network is not set up for an administrator to push applications across the network into all, uh, onto all machines, this is a quick demonstration of why maintaining fat clients in a, um, on a distributed network are very difficult. Uh, thin clients would be the clear way to go in this environment. Um, in most office environments, in fact, because rarely do do users need uh, a full a full machine uh, to do what they do. Let's go ahead and open that in a different machine, a different box. Uh, sending. Let's see. Start D. Paint.net is finished installing. Um, so download details. This is taking too long. I hit the escape key. Let's go back and try downloading again because that's just too slow. See, now we're getting a little better throughput. See that? Sometimes it's just best to escape and then reload the page. F5 will reload the page. Download. And I will close this demonstration um, by showing you that the other ins install on lab machine number 18. Let's go to 18. Oh, it's still installing. This may take a minute. All right, I thought it was going to be done. Um, so again, remote desktop, it's right here. You, you type in the, the name of your machines. Uh, in this case, we've been working on 17, 18, and 17 and 18, right? Oh, we had 19 in there as well. Uh, we did have 19. What it doesn't do, what remote desktop doesn't allow you to do, unfortunately, is take is to show what is happening on my screen. Um, that is a sad, sad problem um, that I cannot bemoan enough because it really puts the pressure on support staff to run around uh, to support the users on the network. Um, if there was a way to control their mouse and uh, so they could watch what I was doing through VNC, tight VNC, light VNC, uh, that would be nice, but um, 
Microsoft doesn't ship with anything that's cool. So uh, remote desktop is okay, but <clears throat> it's not the uh, it's not the it's not a real solution to the real problems uh, in a networked classroom. So let's go ahead and take a look at our install. It worked. Let's go here, paint net. In a moment we should get paint. There it is. Uh, file open. Let's go get some sample pictures. Open. And water lilies. Okay, so here's my wizard and I'm going to change the color. And I'll hit fill and there it is. Okay, let's do it again. Use a different color. How about green? And use the fill. Fill. There it is. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching. This has been a quick demonstration again of remote desktop. Happy computing.